The Simpleton's Guide. Hi, this is Professor Scammington, and welcome to The Simpleton's Guide, because simple is better. Today we'll be talking about net neutrality. Net neutrality has to do with the broadband networks consumers like you and I use to access the internet. Right now, all traffic on those broadband networks travels without priority given to any particular kind of content. Whether you're on Barnes & Noble's website or Amazon.com, your checkout process will go just as fast or just as slow. That's the neutral in net neutrality. Recently, some cable companies have suggested offering a new model of network access in which providers who want to guarantee faster, more reliable delivery would pay a premium, the equivalent of sending a package through FedEx or UPS overnight instead of the post office. In this way, ISPs could make sure that bandwidth-heavy applications like streaming video got delivered without interruption, while still making sure people got their email and other content in a timely manner. In this system, the pressure to build new bandwidth would end up being paid for mostly by companies who pay for the premium delivery. Advocates of net neutrality regulation, however, object to this innovation and would like to see the federal government ban this model of diversity pricing. Some fear that cable companies will try to exclude access to certain content and have imagined this is a David versus Goliath fight between, say, small-time bloggers and big cable companies like Comcast and AT&T. Of course, that's not quite the case. It turns out that plenty of large corporations also support the net neutrality rules. Google, Amazon.com, eBay, and Yahoo would all like to see the present system regulated because it favors their business model. Their position is motivated by self-interest just as much as the cable companies. The only difference is they're asking Congress to write a law to benefit them rather than competing in a changing marketplace. As long as we have limited bandwidth and no way of differentiating between different kinds of content, we'll be stuck with what is essentially a dumb network. Forbidding ISPs from selling premium access won't make it any smarter. The biggest effect of mandating neutrality will be to slow down new investment and innovation, meaning less stuff worth having access to in the first place. And that's been net neutrality. Remember folks, keep it simple.